um, for Ross and Artor I'm sorry, for Nightbird and Artorius. Um, you're standing near the door. The police are uh, the police that were standing at the at the door. Kind of step off to the side uh, to to more or less kind of you know provide an unspoken cordon between you and the door. And a bunch of police and fire go into the building and they start to to clear it out. Um, this brings chaos to yeah, say yeah. the least. I was hoping that he do it without making too much racket, but oh well. <sighs> No, 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 no. When when people deal with fire or anything like that, um, their voices are going to be raised. There is going to be panic because yeah. people are panicky animals. So yeah. it is what it is. Yes. Yeah. It'll disorderly conduct. Ex well, uh, yeah. Um, is there a, um, is there a fire escape connected to this? Uh. Let's see. There or, are no ex a window that leads out back. And somebody should uh, make sure he, he or she don't leave some other way by chance. Either. Well, are you trying to tell me that you're going exploring? I'm going to tell Notorious that I'm going to go take a look out back. Okay. I'll be right back. <laughs> Artorius? I'll, 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 I'll be right here. I promise I won't go yeah. there. Well, just make sure he doesn't leave the building. I'm going to see, make sure he doesn't go out the back. Um, I'm going to look for, it's probably a floor plan map that for the fire escape. On, it would be on the inside of the building. There's no way you're getting in there right now. Well, I'm in the building. You Wait a minute. I thought you were going around the building. Yeah, I'm. Any any building, including an apartment complex, mm -hmm. will have some kind of plan mm -hmm. on the wall mm -hmm. about like go this way from the you know the fire escape stairs or whatever. Well, the apartment complexes I've ever lived in in my life, they have it on the outside or not the outside on the inside of the building, um, right at the stairs. So. Yeah. And if we're at his apartment door, we're in the building. You're not at his apartment door. You're downstairs. You guys haven't even entered the building yet. Oh, well, never mind. I thought I was standing outside his apartment. So no, no, no. You're standing outside the apartment building with the cops. Nobody said you went in. So. Uh, that's, that's not what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so then, never mind. Okay. I'm going to go look and see if there's a fire escape room. Okay, so you, you walk around the back, and there is a fire escape um, on, the, uh, on the other side of the building, uh, but it appears that the, the way the building is built is you've got kind of an entry area uh, at the front, and then you've got a hallway that comes in from the back, uh, a door to a hallway that comes in from the back, um, but it is locked, and it, it's a fire door. You don't have a map, do you? Uh, no, I do not have a map. Um, it, it's just a standard 19, late 1960s to early 80s apartment complex. It's a big square oh, building. It's an older one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. So. It's an internal, it's an internal stairwell. Then. All right. Yeah, it's an internal stairwell. Um, uh, but uh, there is a backfire exit. Well, yeah. Okay. Um, it's probably locked. To not open from the outside. Correct. Yeah. That's correct. It probably has a push, pushing case of fire latch on the inside. Yep. Um, all right. Okay. I'm just going to head back around, though. <clears throat> okay. By the time you head back around, um, uh, Peaches, Andon, um, uh, Connor, or Chris, and um, Rios have all returned, um, and you can see ahead of them, actually, as you were coming around the end of the building, you saw the, uh, the person who is most likely the manager. She's got a bunch of papers in her hand, and she's walking with authority uh, towards, uh, towards the police and fire. Um, but those four come back about the same time you're, you're getting back towards the front door of the building. And, of course, Artorius is still there. All right. So I'm going to tell them 
Looks like there's an internal fire escape still while on the back fire door. So if he's trying to flee, that would be one way he can go. Um, although with the building being abandoned, we don't know if he's, sure. if he's still in the apartment. We should probably go up and send some way back by that fire door. Just in case. I would say at least two people, just to be safe. I agree. Okay, so who's going back there? I'll go with you. <laughs> okay, I so... Mean, I mean, I'll go back, too. It's fine. Okay, so I'm going to pause the game so that you guys aren't, aren't moving your stuff. So uh, we're going to have Nightbird and Artorius going back towards that fire escape. Um, Since we know where it is. <laughs> okay, and so uh, we've got Peaches, uh, Chris, Rios, and Andon. Uh, now, there are still people coming out of the building, but they're few and far between. Uh, there are a lot of overweight people that are coming out of the building. Okay. So it's taking them a little bit of time to get out. So what are you guys going to do? Uh, Paul, question. Yes. Uh, do these uh, uh, apartments have balconies? Uh, yes, second floor and above. But they're like uh, small. All right. That's fine. Uh, I was thinking I could use my telekinesis to glide up to one and be by the apartment so it doesn't go out the back. Okay. Uh, do you, so you, are you saying you want to go around the back also? I mean, I'm going to go up onto one of those balconies. Okay. On one of the other sides of the apartment, not on, at the apartment itself, though. On one of the sides of the apartment, it's a pretty flat building, um, except for All the, right. uh, you know, there are there's probably a kitchen window, um, and no, there's not even a kitchen window. And then there's a there's a couple of um, uh, windows at the back, or I'm sorry, at the short side of the building, and then towards the back of the building, uh, and then there is a uh, I, I'm going to say that there's a sliding door in there. That's not what the map says, but I'm going to say there's a sliding door in there um, uh, that you can... No, wait a minute. No, the apartment's not set up like that. There is no sliding door. There's no spoon. Um, so, yeah, there's no sliding door, so there's no balcony on that apartment. Oh. Yeah, I'm, uh, I apologize. I apologize. I, I've got a very specific map and a very specific description, and I'm trying to remember everything up front. So, um, speaking of all that, uh, let me get this configured. Okay, I'm going to show it in navigation for me until it's time for you guys to, to, to see what's going on. Um, so let's see, that's not existing. Then there's the the fire escape um, at the back, but it is locked uh, from people entering it from the wrong side. Uh, the fire door that's back there is also locked, but it can be opened as a result of fire. Uh, let's see. So do you want to, uh, you, you try and go back there and look for a balcony to get up on, but are unable to find one. I'm, I apologize about that. Uh, did you want to go back to the front or stay with um, Artorias well, and Iper? I'll go back to the front. Okay. Back to the front. Okay. So, um, let's see. Okay. So, I, I'm going to have to deal with that myself. I, I didn't get the hallway built like I wanted to. Um, so, those of you who are going in the front door... Uh, it's probably another five minutes before the last fat person, um, uh, um, you know, waddles out. And uh, then the people are in black um, with wires, are they? No, 
No, you're you're looking. Uh, uh, the you the, the police. <laughs> Uh, the police managed to um, uh, inform, uh, you know, all of their number plus the firefighters who are helping out uh, that they are not to go up to apartment 302. Uh, that is the apartment in question, and there are specialists on site that are getting ready to go in. So uh, what are you going to do? How do you want to approach all of this? Uh, the only experience I have of this is from, I got from TV, which I know is bad. Uh, but you're playing a cinematic game. <clears throat> this is true. I, I don't suppose we can get somebody to just knock, can we? <laughs> Um, you could, if you want to, if you want to go up, but let me describe something. Um, the first two floors, uh, the first two, um, um, landings of stairs that you go up, you are pretty certain those are safe. There have already been police officers up in, um, up in the hallway checking out the punks, but they couldn't get too close for fear of getting blasted by uh, whomever is in that apartment because they don't know all of the circumstances even though uh, Detective Dahmer had a, a theory about what was going on. Theory does not meet fact sometimes. So um, she, she recommended that you kind of take things easy. Um, so you're on the landing, you're, you're, you're at the bottom of the set of stairs uh, leading up to the third floor landing. What do you want to do from there? And how do you want to handle communications? That's a good question. Somebody needs to, uh, you know, identify themselves and say, you know, can, you know, coming in and give well, Ms. Connor a chance to respond. Call you on my cell and ask you for an update. You're going to do what? Well, you know, we're, we're out here in the back, so they don't know what's going on. So Right. That's why I was asking how everybody wanted to handle communications. I, I'm no, not talking I, about I, communications I, with whomever's in the apartment. I'm talking between you guys. Yeah, that's why I suggested we use the cell phones earlier, but I don't know. And remember, the, the cell phones act as kind of a walkie-talkie at the same time, uh, or they can. They have the... The, the software necessary to do it, but it's spotty. It's very, very spotty because it's still 2017. <laughs> Chris, you got any ideas? Um, not really. <laughs> well, that's not helping. You're going to have to put on your thinking cap. Peaches? You no, know, the only thing I know to do is identify yourselves and go in. I mean, my my character, you know, typically will, uh, you know, knock down doors. Okay. Um, what, uh, uh, Rios? Well, I'm not quite sure how this technology, what you might call it, works, but we'll never get anywhere unless we approach the person that we are talking about this entire time. Mm hmm. Oh, has anybody thought to maybe, like, try him on the phone? Uh, we have no. his name. We can Google him. Sure, you have his name, but he doesn't come up anywhere. No phone? He doesn't. He doesn't appear anywhere. Standard checks would go. Now we all know apartment managers have some special pull, uh, you know, with the local authorities and with uh, with uh, finding people through Google and everything like that. But remember, back in 2017, the the Google search for a lot of people was really really retarded. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now and uh, she said. You know, he paid completely in cash and, you know, only communicated through emails pretty much. So, mm -hmm. not emails, snail mail. 
snail mail. So there's Except no real cash. There is no trail, no paper trail. Now, yeah. Um, one of y'all's phones rings. Um, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it's Ginger. Your phone rings. And uh, uh, peaches, I bark as I answer. Okay, Ross, go ahead. You said you were making a call. Night, bird. I'm eating, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we're playing. Yeah, but I've been and, waiting, so I'm trying to eat. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so, what's going on, Peaches? We're standing out here waiting. All right, you want to go in? Well, I'm at by the fire door. You're the one. Didn't, didn't, have you talked to him yet or anything? We haven't talked to him yet, so let's try. Well, hold on. Hold on. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and stop you guys for just a minute. Mm -hmm. you, you're going to need to start thinking kind of like investigators. My games are not hack and slay uh, unless well, it's something... Hack and slay. Uh, I understand that. I, would you you're let me talking. finish? Okay, right. let me finish. There are various technologies that are out there, and Nightbird, you actually come from an area that uses that kind of technology constantly. Okay, I want you to think about Black Rain, Johnny Mnemonic, um, the, uh, World War Z for that matter. There's all kinds of various technology that's out there that can be used. Okay, and uh, you know, you guys are going to need to start thinking in that realm. This is not a yeah, hack and slash game. So I'm not a hacker, though. Well, I'm not saying that you needed to be a hacker. It, well, the uh, the Pan Pacifica isn't really that much about hacking uh, as much as it is political intrigue and stuff. But um, the cyber papacy is. Okay. Now, Ginger, did you tell anybody about the weird accents in the letters that the manager told you about? Nope. Ginger? No Jen, yeah, uh, we can't hear you. Jen, you're Sorry about that. I was on mute. Um, no, I didn't. Uh, we were, uh, I wasn't the only one standing there, though. Um, so, uh, the fact that he may have an accent, yeah. Right. Uh, I figure he's some kind of escaped stormer. And, escaped? Uh, uh or maybe. I would say he's at least from the Pan uh, Pacific with the electronics, and I think the accent is French. Well, Pan Pacifica doesn't have any assets in France because they're Pan Pacifica. Yeah, you're thinking right. cyber papacy. Yeah, sorry, cyber papacy. Sorry. Okay. All right. Oh no, he's French. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. Uh, so what are we yeah, thinking well, if he comes from a higher tech society um, even if it is a, a false catholic church type of society um, but it has all kinds of wires and electronics and everything like that that he's a cyborg in core earth he's got the wires coming from his neck according to descriptions from neighbors Yeah, um, and I don't know if he's someone trying to hide out here or if he's, uh, you know, uh, uh, up to no good for his cosm. But uh, Tennessee is a pretty far off place to be doing something like that. Mm -hmm. it, but it's a good place to lay low mm -hmm. until right, someone on. brought up his apartment. And with highly advanced tech... There's one of the things is you know, X-ray vision, and you probably can see us. I don't know. But, uh, uh, the question is, um, if you think that that might be a possibility, 
Um, would you want to try and detect it? With what? With your eyes. And maybe try and shut it down somehow. Like if you might have cameras around? I don't know. You guys haven't done any searching. Yeah, let's look. Okay. Let's look to see what we have. I mean, like, does he, is there a camera? Where were the gunshots? Was, were shots fired at his apartment or from his apartment? Okay. Um, do you recall? Is... Because uh, Detective Dahmer told you. Yeah, he, he did, didn't he? She. She. Mm hmm That she said that they weren't sure. What what went up went down, but what went uh, down, right. shots were fired. Mm -hmm. So there is a big wall. You you've got your stairs going up, and there is a big dividing wall to your left that goes all the way up to the ceiling. There's the there the only railing that there is is on the the right hand side of the steps going Aren't up. There, are there any cameras in the hallway? In the uh, give me a fine test. Uh, fine. Yep. Okay, there you go. Um, you do manage to spot a little black box at the top of the stairs. Um, that uh um is stuck to the wall opposite the end of the big flat wall to your left. All right, and the gunshots that, that we were told, were, did they come from? You don't know. All right, um, we haven't reached where the uh, gunshots were. There aren't any, say, obvious You're, gunshots in the wall, are there? You are on the second floor, and he is in apartment 302. Uh, it, can we tell if that black box is a camera or not? Or do we from where you're that? from where you're at, you can't really tell. Um, give me a profession aerospace engineer role. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's a very, very, very nice role. Um, you know that before the war began, about four months ago. Um, four and a half, whatever it is, uh, there was technology beginning to be developed for the sake of recording pilot reactions while flying. It was, they were to be a new FAA initiative to, um, uh, to catch pilots doing bad things. And they looked something similar to this box, but they were about half again its size. As in bigger or smaller? Bigger, half again. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so it's More a black box recorder. Okay. Uh, how far out is it from me? It's like where I'm standing. It's about uh, eight and a half feet above where you're standing, but it's at the end of the stairs, the top of the stairs. Oh, then, yeah, as well in range. Uh, I'm going to use my telekinesis to, like, move it off the wall. Okay. Um, 25 meters. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I know. Um, okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's not going to help. Okay, go go ahead and uh, you do your telekinesis, and uh, uh, you manage to take it off the wall very easily. It rips out some of the ceiling, and which way do you fling it? Do you bring it towards you, or do you try and fling it down the hallway uh, opposite this giant wall? Uh, down the hallway. Okay. Go away from the stairs. Okay. Um... Okay. 
it takes about, let's see. So for Artorius and Nightbird, I cut the audio here because serious technical difficulties ensued. So hang on just a minute, guys. I'm still kind of... Okay, and then you guys can... Now, the distances here are not necessarily correct. Matter of fact, you guys are going to end up kind of in a foot race. Um, okay, so... I can't give you a time frame, but the the window from the third floor at the far end of the building suddenly explodes outward with glass. You guys that are on the second floor um, did not hear this. You don't hear any of this, okay? Mm -hmm. um, because you're still on the second floor. You haven't even climbed the steps yet. Um, anyway, Artorius mm -hmm. and... Uh, mm -hmm. Nightbird both see this individual jump from the third story window. Uh, may I jump her? And... Since I have. And... Mm -hmm. Okay, so you and heard that, moving... Ginger. And then I'm moving towards him. <laughs> and I start uh, running with Nightwing or Nightbird. Sorry. I, I tell the, the gang, he's gone out the back, run. And I, and I start headed toward the. Uh, Exit and back around the building. I need to move you guys forward. We a got a runner. Bit. Okay, so uh, here's the spanky. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. Let me let me kind of go over this guy's stats for a second. Um, <laughs> okay. Well, it's gonna end up like I said. I, I understand. I understand. So I, I got to set you guys up because I have to do something makeshift because you guys didn't do anything that I expected. Like walk up and knock. Like and not like walk up and knock. Like try and figure out if he's got equipment that he can use uh, <laughs> that you guys can shut off to sneak up on him. Yeah. Uh, Ross, uh, Go up and check on his apartment to make sure he didn't leave any nasty surprises. Well, you know what? Y'all are going to have to wait just a minute. I'm trying to set this up. All right. When this guy jumps out the window, he lands from a third-story jump about probably 20 feet from the building on his legs like it didn't affect Ooh. him at all, and he takes off running. Okay, now... I know that you guys are going to follow him, um, and we'll deal with that in just a minute, because uh, we're going to need to determine uh, DSR stuff, because it's a race. Now, to kind of recount, uh, Nightbird has told Ginger, and Ginger probably had it on speaker, so everybody knows that um, you've got a runner. What are you guys in the stairwell intending to do about this runner? All right. Uh, is there a nearby window? No. At the end of uh, the second floor stairwell, there isn't a window? At the end of the second floor stairwell? Let's see. Would there be a window in a building built between 1967 and 1982? No, there's not. Because I've lived in a few of those buildings, and they don't have they don't have windows hardly at all. They don't like windows. Um, so no, at the top of that stair, all you see is uh, the there is a a round light fixture that is over the top stair. Okay, uh, but it's pretty dim. Okay. And I get uh in J I mean Peaches, you said you wanted me to go up and check the apartment? Yeah, because uh you can screen yourself with telekinesis telekinesis if you left anything. But the rest of us are gonna try to go join the chase. Um okay. and that means uh Rios and Andon and me. Okay. So it is it is 
<laughs> okay, Peaches, you're going to be the fastest one down um, because you've got training in, in stairs and whatnot. Uh, Rios and Anden, uh, let me get some dice here. Okay, I need that one. Oh, don't tell me I'm going to have to pour these out. Well, you know what, I can use these other dice too. I just need them to count down, that's all. Okay, uh, let's see. Alright, that one is going to be Rios. Uh, that one will be Anden. And that one will be Peaches. Oh, come on. And then Chris is going upstairs. <sighs> All right, so uh, Peaches, having been trained as a firefighter, you are going to have the easiest time getting downstairs, and you can pretty much pull ahead of of uh, your compa your new compatriots. And then um, being less fettered by clothing, and um, uh, with longer legs, basically, uh, can make it down the stairs behind Peaches, not too close behind, and then Rios having having the dress and and the the saber and uh, having the shorter legs and having to guide yourself downstairs because the dress sticks out a little bit um, uh, is going to fall behind Anden. Uh, so I will count those down as we're going along. But right now, I need to add everybody to... <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I need to add everybody. No, no, no. Not those. Um... Oh, for shit's sake. Okay. Um, to there. And I need these four to be added as well. Okay, and then put him on top, and come on, get up there. That's interesting. That's very, very interesting. Okay, so we're going to begin combat here. This is actually a DSR. Um, so, oh, okay, hold on. Let me get back through that. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so we're, we're starting with the T, uh, DSR. Uh, the first card is Time for Action, is the fluff text on it. Uh, it is a standard scene, so heroes do get to go first. Villains go second, uh, but there's nothing special. The DSR steps are A and C. Um, uh, anybody who has situational awareness, don't forget to put a card into your pool, please. Aha, uh -huh. okay. So what's this? Okay, that's for everybody. We're not doing for everybody. Okay. Let me try. Okay, so how do I add the pool? Um, um open your card hand and select the see the the all the cards in a line. There's a question mark on one of them that says in pool, and you check whether or not it's in your pool. Oh gotcha. Is there only an add card? Uh, not until, well, only if you have situational awareness or another perk that allows you to do it. I do have situational awareness. Okay, then uh, add a card to your pool. Uh, do you remember how to do that? Uh, I'm trying to. Do I click on the Disney? No. Uh, okay, you're, when you're in your character sheet. Yeah, man, I had the card. Okay, open. you've got yeah. your hand open then. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, if you click on any of the four destiny cards that you have, um, mm -hmm. you can a, a blue the blue menu should come up. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And you should be able. In fact, let me click here to see about this. Uh, let's see. That's the disc. Oh, in pool is at the bottom left of that blue band. It, you've got a check mark there. Uh, let me make sure that it went. Oh, combat, please. Let me make sure it went where it was supposed to go. 
Um, okay, Nightbird, you just put a glory in there. Peaches, you have an opponent fails. Um, well, I did that by accident. Yes. Well, okay. so deselect the uh, take off yeah, the check mark yeah. from the glory and then choose the card that you want. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. That's why I'm trying to get yep. you to tell me. Oh yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Um. So what am I doing? Okay, so you've got your hand open for Nightbird. You see the four Destiny cards on the left hand side. Um, yep. Yep. Uh, did you? Okay, let's see. You've still got the glory I in there. Yeah, I haven't drawn anything yet. No, you're not supposed to draw anything yet. Okay? Oh, okay. Uh, only if you succeed at the uh, action, uh, the approved action, which I haven't gone over just yet. Okay? Okay. Um, so, you've got at the lower left-hand corner of the blue line that's right next to your glory card when you click on it, it says in pool, and it has a question mark. You've, yeah. got, you've got the checkbox right there, and it is presently checked. If you don't, yeah, all of them are because they're all visible. No, uh, uncheck yeah, that. Un un uncheck yeah. that. Okay. Okay. So the glory was taken out. Now you can go over your other cards and and kind of look at them. You can pop them open one at a time. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then you just select uh, the card that you want to put in the pool. Peaches, the opponent fails. Is that what you wanted? Yes. Uh, yeah, but I don't know what I'm... Uh, okay, Rios, setback. Is that the one that you wanted? Uh, Yeah, I think that's the one that I'm going to go for right now. Okay, all right. So those are in there. Now, um... Before we get into this DSR, I forgot to do something, and I'm going to do it right now. Um, but I got to look up the rule on it because I've never used it before, or if I have yeah. used it, I don't remember it. Uh, uh, I don't know when, when's best to use these, so I'll just wait. I guess. <laughs> well, um, so how do we view the pool? How do we view the card pool? Okay, so open your character sheet. Do you remember how to do that? Double click my token. Double click your token. Excellent. At the top right of your character sheet, you've got a hand that has four cards in it. Click on that hand. Yeah. Okay. When you do that, it's going to bring up a display that at the top says Destiny Plus and Cosm Plus. If it doesn't, you may have to check the enhanced display at the very top. I've already got it like that, but okay. that just shows me my hand. Right. Exactly. So. When you go over your cards one at a time, you'll see that the card that your cursor is over is is up front. It switches to up front. Okay, you yeah. can click on whichever card is up front at the time, and it will bring up a large menu. It brings up the card. Okay, and it, it brings up the card so that you can read it, and then it gives you a, a large menu. At the very top left, you've got the play button. It looks like a white uh, uh, with a blue arrow in it play button. Yeah. Uh, below that, you have something that says show to all players, and it looks like an A that's broadcasting, or a tower that's broadcasting, one of the two. Below that, you've got pass two. Now, in this game, you can trade cards back and forth. It depends on, on the situation as to what cards can be traded when. When you're outside of combat rounds, you can trade cards from your hand to other uh, to other players, but they have to be able to trade you a card that you need or want, okay, at the same time. Um, so when you click on the pass two, it gives you the option of selecting a name so that you can pass that card on to another player, and then they're supposed to pass you a card back. The trades have to be one card for one card. It doesn't matter what the cards are, that's just how it is. Okay, um, uh, but you guys need to agree on what cards to trade. Okay. Now, when you're in combat, you can only trade from hand to hand or from pool to pool. You can't uh, unless you've got a special card, you cannot feed anything from your hand into your pool. Now, at the end of a combat round, whether you have earned a card by uh performing the approved action, the action that's on the approved action line uh or not, um 
you get to put a card from your hand into your pool at the end of your turn. Now I try and go to the end of the round and remind folks if you have not already put a card from your hand into your pool, go, go ahead and do that. It doesn't matter if you've succeeded or failed or whatever. Now what does matter whether you've succeeded or failed is whether you've actually succeeded on the approved action. Now the approved action in this case if you look at the uh, at the combat uh, the, the combat tracker, are, are you even on that? On the, the right hand side? Uh, I think so. Okay. Uh, it, it, it's the thing that looks like a fist. At the top right of your screen you'll have a bunch of icons and it's the one that looks like a fist. Should be the, it should be the second one from the left. All right, there we are. Okay. Now, you'll see Chris at the top, Chess, uh, Peaches, Nightbird, Rios, Andon, and Artorias. And above them, you'll see what's known as the drama card. The uh, fluff line on it is time for action. And I can kind of throw those in there as a corny way of, of, of letting you guys know that there's excitement getting ready to happen in the, in the round. Um, to the right-hand side, you've got the A and C. Those are for dramatic skill resolution, which we're getting ready to go into. Um, at least for uh, Nightbird and Artorias, okay? Uh, you have to do A, B, C, and D in order. So you may not get the cards that you need to complete the, the, uh, the, dra uh, the uh, dramatic skill resolution, but we'll work through that because there are ways to do it. Um, below that, you'll see a kind of a tan and orange box that goes most of the way across the card. Uh, one line says standard and the other line says dramatic. Okay, you'll see that the H on the standard line is before the V. The H stands for hero and the V stands for villain. Below that... I know. Huh? You already know this? No. Oh. Yes. Well then, okay. I was just asking how I view the pool. Oh, well, I'm trying to run through this for kind of like everybody. So, anyway, if you okay. perform a, an attack or a trick successfully, you get a card. If you attack, if you do both successfully in a round, you get two cards. Um, now, that bottom one, uh, it, we're going back to the Seize Initiative card now. Um, and the, the bottom icon is Discard. If you don't want the card anymore, or if we're changing acts, uh, you will exchange that card. Or if we're changing scenes and you need to kind of refill your hand, um, uh, you can always request a new card, but only one. Um, so that's the discard. Now at the very bottom left, you'll see in pool and the question mark. Above that, you'll see a little checkbox. If you check that box... I've already got that selected. Huh? Yes, I've already got that selected. No, you've got a setback selected. Okay. Why were you asking me this then, if you've already got the setback selected? I wasn't asking how to add it to the pool. I was asking how to view the pool. I thought, like, the pool was how we view oh. everybody's cards that they placed forward. Actually, yeah. Okay, I misunderstood your question then. Um, so, yeah. go over to the combat tracker and look at okay. Peaches. Her pool says opponent fails. Run your cursor over opponent fails. You don't have to click. Okay. And you can read the there card from now there. I can see it. All right. Okay. So I, I was more, ex uh, you know, I was going to try and give this for, for Ross and uh, and Remy because they haven't played the game before. So, and besides, this is a new toy. I get to play with a new toy. My toy. Um, okay. So, anyway. Uh, so we're in the combat. Heroes get to go first. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have... Uh, Ross and Artorius go first. Why in the world are you guys showing up? Uh oh. Okay, there we go. Why are you showing up as neutral when you should be friendlies? Okay, that's uh, that's something from old times, I guess. For uh, Peaches and, and uh, Identity. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, so neutral, friendly. Update token. Okay, so try and get him on top again. And there we go, finally. All right. I'll have to make sure that that sticks on the next uh, combat. You guys get to go first. Okay, so for, let's see, Nightbird is very first. 
unless you guys have something that you want to try and do to trip chess up. Now, chess is by the yeah, he is not first. He lands, and this is probably the only chance you guys are really going to get to get after him. Um, what would you like to do? Let's uh, let's start with Nightbird. Um, well, I would like to go up and try to disable him, like, because uh, I have martial arts training. I'd like to, uh, like, swing kick him and knock him down, so. Okay, so let's see, you've got a dex of 10. I don't want to just shoot him. <laughs> you want what? I don't want to shoot him yet. Okay. You know, and he's not, like, shot at me or anything. And then, you know, by the uh, apartment windows, I sort of own the apartment complex, but, you know. <laughs> okay, I still didn't. <laughs> Trying to do too much at I, once. I want to run up and, you know, take him down so he can't move. All right. Well, I was going to do this, but I completely forgot about it because I was trying to do too many things at one time. Okay. So give me a minute, folks. Uh, oh, why couldn't they just put that there? Okay. Let's see. So. My fingers are too smooth for these pages. It's hard to turn the pages. Okay, so let's see. I want to see if you guys were surprised when he jumped out the window. So, uh, uh, I mean, I was. We were there waiting. He something like this happen. Yeah, but you that didn't. Yeah, in case something like this happened, but you could not have possibly known what could possibly have happened, and you were standing well, yeah. at the back door the fire door, so you were expecting him to come out the fire door. Uh, yeah, well, let's see. I didn't mention, you know, I did mention uh, the Malfoy's too, earlier. But you did mention what? Yeah. Remember I mentioned the Malfoy's earlier as well. Yeah, uh, and like I said, the, the design of the building, um, I, w I was looking at, at the map again that I made, and, and you'll see it if you guys ever get to it. Um, that uh, yeah, it really helped a lot. Well, no, I've got a map of the apartment on the inside. There's no sliding oh, door that goes to a balcony. No, but um, that's why I was wondering if there was an exterior fire escape, because they would have been connected to a balcony or whatever. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was an interior one, so that's fine. Okay. All right. Um, Go ahead. So, I need you to... To roll either a willpower or spirit test. Your spirit is your attribute. The willpower is the skill that goes with that attribute. And this does not count against your action for the round. This goes before the, the round. Okay. I got to look at these. All right. Okay. Artorius, you are not surprised... Um, something's not right here. Something didn't, something didn't go right. Got willpower at nine. Your die told. Okay, Ross, do you have any cards or do you want to spend a possibility to improve that test? Now, the, um, I, don't, I don't think he any screws, but I don't. <laughs> well, it, um, and this this would be added prior to the uh, prior to the beginning of the round as well. Leadership seize initiative. Um, well, you've already got initiative for the round, so that's not going to going to help. Would you like to spend one of your possibilities to improve that number, or just leave it as it is? Hmm? No, yeah, I'll spend a possibility. Okay, I've gone ahead and reduced that because for some reason they gave me that power and did not give you guys that power. I don't know why. So go ahead and click the possibility uh, uh, button in the card that is in the chat window for your willpower test. Um, there's... Oh, there's... Okay. Yeah. Okay, so very nice. So both of you are not surprised for the round. Uh, if either of you had rolled a... Uh, 
probably a mishap on that. You would have really been surprised. Okay, so Nightbirds, mm -hmm. you can try and and rush up and see what you can do to disable uh, disable this guy. Um, you do have enough movement to do it, um, and he is uh, actually slow on the draw because he was not expecting you to be there, which is why you're getting being able mm -hmm. to strike. So, All right. what specifically would you like to do? I would like to sweep a leg and knock him down and hold him down in a martial art hold. Okay, so you're actually going for a called shot then. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I have so, a martial art training. So. Okay. I don't, want, I don't want to draw my sword or anything yet. Okay. He hasn't, like, shot at me or anything. Right. So. And that would be honorable. Um, so let's see something. You have key strike. Okay. Mm -hmm. The warrior can focus her key energy into a devastating blow. You don't really want a devastating blow because that puts no, plus no, two shock. I don't wanna, I don't, yeah, I don't want to him or heal him yet. Okay. <laughs> so then uh, go ahead and make a... Um, uh, unarmed combat test with a penalty of two. Now, the way to do that is to shift and click on unarm your unarmed combat skill. Okay. okay. When you do that, you're going to have a difficulty number here. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. we got to back up for just a second. I need you to go ahead and double right click on, on chess. The guy at the top uh, there. Uh, oh, him, him on right. there yep, you there you go. He is chosen now. Uh, he is the chosen one. So now you can uh, shift and click on armed combat. Yep. It still doesn't give his difficulty number. That's odd. Huh. Well, let's let's say this. His unarmed combat is a 16, if you want to put that in there. <clears throat> For, yeah, difficulty of 16. Um you are not running beyond your basic walk speed of 10 meters around. Uh, so that's okay. You're not doing a multi-action or multi-target penalty. Um, so the, in the description, um, you're doing a called shot, and the effect is minus two. Sure. And then just go ahead and click roll. Okay, modifiers are minus two. Oh, oh no. No. Uh, okay, what do I do about that? Okay. Chess. The, the, the individual that's standing in front of you, I've, I've announced him as Chess. So I'm just going to say his name is Chess. Um, and yes, that is correct. Uh, he did not give the, the correct name. Um, he sidesteps rather adeptly as you go to sweep the leg, and he is going to get a bonus of two when it's his turn to attack you, okay, if he decides to attack. Yeah. Okay, uh, Artorius. Are you, what? Are you flurried? No, you're not flurried. Artor this isn't dramatic <laughs> It's a dramatic skill resolution, but it's not a dramatic scene. Gotcha. Okay. Um, Artorius, what would you like to do? Hello? Uh, he's, he's, I think he's checking his character sheet to see what he can do. He also might be on mute. He could be a mute. Um, that was kind of playing some stuff. So I'm going to try, um, would I be able to cast Ice Burst to immobilize him? Um, do you want to do that when you see your new Storm Knight friend going in that direction? This is not a game where all of the good guys are ignored. Let me see, where's that card at? Well, would I be able to play this precision card? It uh, ignores the friendly fire rule for uh, one test where an ally who would normally be included in that area of effect from being affected. <laughs> would I be able to do that? Or... Um, 
Is it in your pool? It is. Well, now, wait a minute. Did you just put it in your pool, or was it in there because you have situational awareness? No. If I'm not mistaken... Yeah, no, that wouldn't work, man, because I don't want to hit them. So let me see. What else can I do? Well, let's see. Do you have situational awareness? No, you don't. No, I don't. Okay, let's so you, you can't put a card in your pool. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Mm-hmm. Instead, I'll do Clan Sacrifice. It won't cause damage to Nightbird, but it will uh, restrain her. But it will also restrain Chess as well. That so is not a bad idea. Not a bad idea Instead at all. Of causing damage, it would hopefully stop him from moving at least for a bit. It, it very well could. Well, right? And he's definitely within the 15 meter range, and it is against yeah. the target's Dodger decks. Since you are not trying to entangle um, a Nightbird on purpose, there is no penalty to cast that. So, your Conjuration, it's not dark, uh, you're not beyond range. Uh, religion doesn't count here, so it's it's just a roll. Your minimum skill value uh, has to be a 12, which I know you have. It's the target target's dodge or dex, and he's got a 16. Wait a minute, hold on. Let me let me double check. Yeah, he's got a dodge of 16. Do I need to put that in the difficulty right? Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, you did you click on the dice in the spells tab? No, 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 no. I'm looking at Conjuration skill. Oh, no, no, no. You're not doing Conjuration skill. Uh, go to your okay. Powers tab. Right. And yeah. locate Plant Shackles. And then yeah, got it, right there. it says Spell Roll. Yeah. Just click that. Just click that. And it should give you what you need. Uh, unfortunately, the Powers do not yet have Enhanced Rolls to them. So there's no doing right. that. Oh, 17. Okay. Um, so...